Hi, I'm Daryl Cagle, the editorial cartoonist behind Cagle.com, and I wanted to talk to you today about cartoonist Bill Day and ask for your help. I've been a big fan of Bill Day's work for decades. Bill was a cartoonist for many years at the Detroit Free Press and uh, then at the Memphis Commercial Appeal. Um, he's won just about every prize you can win in editorial cartoon. He's got a room full of trophies. He's just uh, great. He's been an inspiration to me. He's been an important voice in the public debate. And uh, now we're facing a situation where Bill may ha have to stop drawing editorial cartoons. I wanted to ask for your help to see if we can uh, keep Bill drawing. Um, our editorial cartooning profession is uh, facing some tough times now as uh, newspapers are contracting and cartoonists are losing their, their jobs as uh, employees for newspapers. Bill lost his job as the cartoonist for the Memphis Commercial Appeal newspaper. He went to work for Federal Express lifting uh, heavy boxes until that was too much for his back. Now Bill works in a bike shop all day, draws his cartoons at night for us, which um, our tiny little business syndicates to just about 850 newspapers in the United States, just a, about half of America's daily paid circulation newspapers. Uh, Bill is uh, brilliant and one of the uh, important voices in the public debate and uh, one of the top cartoonists in America for a long, long time, and he's facing um, having to give up editorial cartooning. Um, there are probably only about 60 editorial cartoonists left who have jobs at newspapers in the United States. Um, there were twice that number 20 years ago. Um, or 30 years ago. Uh, we're going to get to a point very soon where there's only a dozen cartoonists and there are not very many voices in the public debate because the guys can't afford to spend all day every day drawing a cartoon when they don't have a job and syndication doesn't pay pay for them to do it. You can, it's going to be like a McDonald's menu where everybody in the world eats the same 12 things off the same menu and that, you know, that's that's not a good world. So I wanted to come to you. Uh, you know, with so few editorial cartoonists and Bill being such an important voice, we thought that we could do an Indiegogo campaign to try to raise money to pay a salary for Bill as though he were a newspaper employee rather than the paltry sum that we pay him as a uh, syndicated cartoonist. Give him the modest salary that would allow him to take the hours out of his day working at the bike shop to do cartoons um, and uh, keep him keep him drawing because we think it's we, we think we, we think it would just be a crime to lose uh, such an important talented uh, cartoonist as uh, as Bill Day from our profession so um, that's what this is we want to raise uh, thirty five thousand dollars to give a one-year contract to Bill to draw cartoons. We want to we want to be able to do that in place of the newspaper job that for him doesn't exist, that for an increasing number of editorial cartoonists doesn't exist, and then continue to have his cartoons seen by millions of people in the 850 newspapers and all over the web and on our site and for you um, in syndication. Um, so if we can raise $35,000, uh, we will uh, give him a one-year contract. If we can raise more than that, we'll give him a longer contract. If we raise twice that much, we'll give him a two-year contract. We want to keep Bill drawing cartoons. Um, and with your help, we can do it. We have some great premiums. If you make donations, you'll get an e-book. Uh, you'll get, uh, for a little more, you get a, a signed print from Bill and an e-book. Uh, and for a bit more, you can get an actual original drawing, one of one of Bill's uh, editorial cartoons that he draws each day. And um, that is, it's going to be for less than the value of the drawing, and Bill's going to send his cartoons out to the, the donors to the campaign and, and sign uh, a nice uh, attribution to you under the cartoon. Frame it hanging on your wall. It's something to be proud of. It's an important piece of uh, our 
our American public debate and an important uh, cartoonist and a great thing to hang on the wall. Um, we'll have uh, a list of the premiums here uh, on the site for uh, different donations that you can make. And um, Bill was a little shy about uh, making a movie to beg for himself, but I'm not shy about begging for Bill. Bill is just an absolutely great cartoonist. And uh, I tell you, it makes me cry to think that we could lose Bill like we've been losing so many other great editorial cartoonists one after the other in recent years and accelerating in recent months. Um, don't let that happen to Bill. Let's get, uh, let's get Bill uh, out of the bike shop for a few hours a day, get him drawing editorial cartoons, give him a guaranteed contract, make sure that he can do it, and uh, not lose an important progressive voice in, in newspapers today, in newspapers on the web, in your email box, and hanging on your wall. Um, you know, we've got so many people say they're fans of editorial cartoons, it doesn't take much to step up and uh, prove it. And with so few editorial cartoonists working now, your contribution will really make a difference, a difference that you can see, a difference that you can see in particular with the cartoons that will be happening and will be in the papers and will be in your email box, will be on our site that you wouldn't otherwise see. Um, don't let Bill go away. I, I really appreciate your help. If we get up to our goal, we've got Bill at least for a year, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll keep him going, and uh, that'll be due to you, and hopefully you'll have a, a great piece of art to hang on the wall and feel uh, like you did your part to keep a great American art form uh, still going. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your help.